go to export, press export file, quick one, click in, click out, export file, quick two. Hello and welcome. Kickball Martin asked, how can I export just one part of a timeline? This is something that Shortcut does not support directly, but there is a workaround. So let's set up a small project real quick. We got a lady using a blender. And let's add some music. Add audio track. All right, here we are. So what if we just want to cut out this section? Only this section where we are zoomed in on the blender. From here till here. Many video editors have a function like that. You would press I for input here and then O for output here, which kind of works here as well, I guess. And then we can remove the emptiness. And that's a way to export this part. Yeah, we can just press export, give it a name like part one. And uh, once it's done, and maybe even while it's rendering, we can just undo all this. It's pretty much four to six operations. So it is doable for small video projects. But if you don't like all that, and you would rather set an in and an out section like I do here with I and O in Olive, where I can then go to File Export and make sure it picks into out range, well, that is not supported yet in Shotcut. So this worked. And this worked as well. But let's go to a solution in Shotcut that kind of works. All you have to do is save your project. Press save, give it a name, Blender1 for example. And now you have to open the playlist and drag the MTL file, the project file you just created, drag it into the playlist. Oh, uh, well, that's funny. So we would have to create a new project first then drag it to the playlist, then drag it to the source view over here. And now you can set an in and out point. So over here is the in, hitting in, and over here is the out. And now we can just go to export. Let me just resize this a little. And we're gonna export from source. And if I press export file, and let's call this shortcut workaround, it's done exporting. Then that works as well. And then you can easily make one change in here, out here, export another, work two, and in here, out here, export another, work three. So I imagine that for this kind of fast workflow, that's what people mostly need this for. If you don't have multiple clips on the timeline and you only work with one clip only, then you don't even need to do all this. You can just drag in the clip into the source in a new project and then just hit in out, go to export, press export file, quick one, click in, click out, export file, quick two, click in, click out, export file quick free. Here are the results. Uno, dos, tres. So I hope this was useful. Give a video a like if it was. Let me know in the comments if you need any other help. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao!